friends, welcome back to my channel. So, today we're doing something really fun that I've been working on actually since February 15th. So basically, here's the gist. I have 84 lip products in my collection, and since February 15th, I've worn a different lip color or product every single day until I got through all of my lip products until I got to today where I'm wearing the final lip product that I have on right now. So basically, the idea behind this is I have way more lip products than I could possibly need, and it's really difficult for me to declutter my lip products because I love them all. And I also wear the same five over and over again. I did this last year as well. And the whole goal is that I'm wearing all of my lip products so I can see what is bad, what I don't wear, what I don't want to reach for, basically what I can declutter. And then it turns into a lip declutter at the end of it. I can get declutter and actually effectively declutter my lip products. It's super duper fun, but it obviously takes a lot of time. So actually I'm going to move over a little bit because I'm going to be putting up pictures here of my makeup looks over the past like three months because I want you guys to be able to see like the lip color and what it looks like actually on my lips and I think that's a lot more effective than swatches anyway which is why I do this because if I swatch all my lip products half of them look the same but I know that they're different or they look really different but they actually look the same on the lips so I think it's just a lot more effective to actually see what I want to wear what I want to reach for what feels good on the lips what lasts a while what I actually want to wear so I took a photo basically almost every single day since February 15th, and so those photos are going to be going up while I'm talking about the lip products. Obviously, because I have 84 lip products, I know that this is going to be kind of long, so I'm going to try to be as quick as possible when I'm talking about each product. The cool thing about this video, too, is that it's kind of a declutter and lipstick collection video all in one, so I hope you guys enjoy that. My goal for this, by the way, I have 84 lipsticks, and I think my goal for this declutter is to get it down to 70, so get rid of 14, but obviously if I get rid of more than that, then I will be a very happy camper, so yeah, yeah so I have my notes with me, so I'm just going to be reading off of those. I just wanted to go over some of my general thoughts from doing this. A. I highly recommend anyone with a really large lip collection do this. It reminds me kind of of a project that Kat from Kitchenitch did, where it's her like apocalypse series, where she wears a bunch of different ones. Um, but I actually wore every single product in my collection. So I highly recommend if you want to do a declutter this way, it's super fun and it gives you a really good idea of what you have in your collection, what you have too much of in your collection. A couple other thoughts that I had in general is that a lot of my collection is actually really old. So that's something to definitely that I need to keep in mind going through this and it was good to go through all of the products just to see what smells off or what is off because again, like I said, a lot of my collection is really old. Another overall theme that I got from this is that I really don't like wearing liquid lips, which I think I knew before to be quite honest, but I just know now more so than ever that I really don't wear liquid lips and I really don't like reaching for them either. So that's something that I definitely know, okay, I gotta get rid of some of the liquid lips. So that being said, I'm gonna put pictures up and I'm gonna talk about them by date. So let's jump right into it because I know this is gonna be a long one. So on February 15th, the first day of this, I wore the ColourPop Lippy Stick in Parker. I have a lot of these lippy sticks. They're very old. This is the old formula. I don't even think ColourPop sells these anymore. Um, it's fine, it's a neutral brown. So I think I'm actually going to declutter this one. I have a lot of browns and this is an old formula and these are all matte. I don't really wear matte lip products that often. I much prefer balms or glosses. So this is the first one and it's being decluttered. On February 16th, I wore the Bare Minerals Marvelous Moxie Gloss in Maverick. I absolutely love the Bare Minerals Moxie Gloss formula and I have a couple of them. These are older. Um, I actually didn't think that they sold these anymore, but they do. They're online, so they still sell the Moxie Glosses. I love them. They're the perfect, like, glowy but still opaque. I love the mintiness to them. They last really long. They're not really sticky. I really, really like this formula. I highly recommend it. Even though I know that this is older, I am going to keep this only because it is a mini one, and I know that I can probably use it up or go through it, so I'm going to be keeping this one. On February 17th, I wore the NYX Shine Loud Liquid Lips, these ones that went like viral on TikTok. They were literally everywhere. Um, I like this one. It's a little thick and I think it's more difficult to wear, but it does stay all day and that's really nice. And when it wears down, it looks really pretty throughout the day. And I do think that it's a really pretty 
like summer to early fall color. So I'm gonna keep this one because if I'm gonna wear a liquid lip, it's gonna be like this because it has a gloss on top. So keeping this one. Next up, I have my Julep Lip Gloss in Boss. Yeah, in Boss. I love this one. I think this color is super pretty and I love the looks that I wear with it. And I really would like to keep it, but I know that it's getting older and it's starting to smell off. So I am gonna end up decluttering this one. I just know that I have other orangey glosses and as much as I love this one, it's gotta go because it's getting old. On the 19th, I wore my Revlon Ultra HD lipstick in Snapdragon. This is a really, really pretty lipstick. I love this formula. It's super smooth, it stays for a long time, and it's just one of my favorite lipsticks. So definitely keeping this one. I love this lipstick. You will start to see a trend with the brown lipsticks. Mark my words. This is only the beginning. This is only the beginning of the brown lipsticks, but I love that one. And speaking of brown lipsticks, the next one I wore on the 20th is the L'Oreal Paris Color Reshine Lipstick in this shade Glossy Fawn. I also love this one. This is a great lighter brown. It's good with both cool and warm tones and I really like it. I almost decluttered it once because I thought it was too cool toned or something, but then I put it on and it's not too cool toned. I, I love this one. And this one and Snapdragon were ones that I wish that I could reach for multiple times throughout this entire like three month span. So that's how I know that I really love them. So definitely keeping this one. I'm trying to go through these quickly. Hopefully it's not too quickly because I know that I talk really fast. So sorry if it seems like I'm like pew, 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 pew. The next one I wore is my Richu liquid lipstick in the shade Cupid. So these I got in a set from my sister for Christmas a couple years ago. They are they were a set of 12 liquid lipsticks and I've slowly decluttered more and more of them because I don't wear liquid lipsticks. And this formula is not the best. I like the colors that I've kept, but the formula is not great. So I'm gonna be decluttering this one and I'm probably gonna be decluttering all of them, mostly because none of the colors are really unique. I have all of the colors multiple times over in my collection. And also because, again, I don't like the formula. They dry down like really dry. I'm gonna probably be decluttering all of them. Okay, my camera totally when 100% died. So that was fun for me. It is how it is. I'm just gonna pick up where I left off. So the next lip product on the 22nd was another one of the ColourPop lippy sticks, matte lippy sticks in the shade Cami. And this one actually like has gotten melted a little bit, don't know how. But same thing, it's just a neutral brown. I have other brown lipsticks that I love a lot more and I'm a lot more passionate about, so I'm gonna be decluttering this one. On the 23rd, I used this mini Tardist Lip Surgeon's Lip Tint. This is also a very old one in the shade Moody. And I really like this one. I used to not like it as much. And I almost decluttered this one as well um, because I wanted it to be this color. At the time that I had it, I was wearing a lot of like berries and purples. So I wanted it to be like this berry purple color of the packaging. And as you can see from the photo, it is not. It, it is not a berry. It is more like almost like a brownie red, but I really like that and I wear that color a lot now. So I'm definitely gonna be keeping this one. I love this one. I think it's super pretty. So yes, definitely keeping this one. So during this project, I counted my lip liners as lip products as well, cause I wanted to go through those as well. So on the 24th of February, I wore this KAB or CAB lip liner in the shade Charming. And I, this is really pretty. I did not think I was gonna like this as much as I did. I think it's such a pretty like pinky strawberry red color. So I'm definitely keeping this. I really like it and I'm excited to wear it more because I had just gotten it for Christmas when I tried it. So I hadn't really worn it yet. And yeah, I really enjoy it. So I'm definitely keeping this one. Then on the 25th, I wore the Fenty Gloss Balm Heat in the shade Lemon Lava. And this is one of my newer products as well. And I really, really like it. I think that it is so, so pretty and just like the perfect kind of gold lip gloss and it's super plumping. It definitely burns. Like if you want something that burns, this definitely burns, but it doesn't hurt so much where like it's unbearable and I really enjoyed it. So I'm definitely keeping this one as well. Then on the 26th, I wore my Guerlain lipstick. I do not remember what the shade is. I think it's like 721, but this is one of my favorite lipsticks. I got it at Disneyland Paris. It was a gift. It comes in this really luxurious packaging. It's like super weighty, it says Guerlain. It's like one of my only high-end lipsticks. So if not, I think my only like actual high-end lipstick. 
So I love this one. I'm definitely keeping this one. This is like a special place in my heart. When I did this project last year, it ended on my birthday and I waited until my birthday to wear this one. This year I was getting tin type photos done with my boyfriend and so I wore it this day and I just really love it and so I'm definitely keeping this one. Then on the 27th, I wore Burt's Bees Hibiscus. This is their tinted lip balm. This is really old, okay? I know it's really old. I really, really, really should get rid of this. And I know that, I know that. But I love this lip color. I think it's like the perfect lip color. It's my like my lips, but better. So I really should get rid of it. But what I think I'm gonna do is keep it to find a dupe for it. And I am on the hunt now to find a dupe for this because if I don't find a dupe for this color, I think my entire life will be over. I just, I love this lip color and I have looked for a dupe for a while and they don't sell this anymore. So I'm probably going to put it in purgatory where it will live until I can find its successor. Very sad because I love this one, but I know it's just so old. And I know that it's kind of a trend because there's a lot of lip products in here that I used to love and I used to wear all the time, but they either have kind of gone off so I don't wear them or I just don't wear them as much anymore. And so it's harder for me to get rid of those ones because I have an emotional attachment to them, but I know that it's time and I need to get rid of them. Then on the last day of February, the 28th, I wore another ColourPop lippy stick in the shade Daydream. Again, it's very neutral, it's very, very matte, which I don't really like, and I know I have other lip colors in my collection that are identical to this one, so I will be decluttering this one as well. What I will say is, about these ColourPop lippy sticks, at the time when I got this, this was like it. This was the it formula, and I'm really glad that I got them, and I, I did get good use out of them. These used to be some of my favorite lip colors. I know like the first two I talked about, Parker and Cami, I wore all the time. I just have formulas that I like better now, and it's not as popular to wear matte lipstick as it was back in like 2017, so they've had their time. I have loved them well. It's a good place that I'm coming from being able to declutter them. Um, so Next up on March 1st is another ColourPop lip product. This is very new though instead of very old. This is the ColourPop Fresh Kiss Lip Cream in Calming Circle. This is from the Hocus Pocus collection that came out this past Halloween. I got the entire collection and I thought I was really gonna love these. And what I will say is number one, I think that this is too light of a nude for me. I just don't think it's very flattering on my complexion. And so that would have me declutter it at, from the start. From the jump, that would that would make me declutter it. But I also absolutely hate this formula. I like do not know what they were thinking. I don't know if they even tested this before they put this out. This has the longevity of a nanosecond. It fades from your lips before you can even take the breath after you put it on your lips. It just like, and it doesn't even fade nicely. It just kind of like dissipates into the ether. I don't know how to explain it. It just like has no longevity at all. It doesn't even really stay put. It moves around on your lips a lot. It has a lot of transfer. I just don't like this formula at all and I do not recommend it. So I definitely will be decluttering this. I didn't want to declutter it because I obviously love Hocus Pocus and love the packaging, but I mean, I don't even think the packaging is like that cute for what you're getting. Like, obviously I love the idea of the three sisters being on it, but like, I, I just don't think that it's worth it. So I'm definitely decluttering this one. Sad to see it go, but really it's just like mostly just purple. And what's the point of it sitting in my collection if I'm not gonna use them? So definitely getting rid of this one. Then on March 2nd, I used my Lipstick Queen Mini in Highway 66. This is one of the color changing ones. I have a couple of these, so this one, it looks like a olivey green and it turns into a hot pink. I love this lip color. I love it so much. I think it looks so, so good on me and I love like the brightness of it. It's so comfortable. They kind of are like a stain, so they stay all day long. And I love that they're mini. They're so easy to just like throw in your purse and go. So I'm definitely keeping this one. I love Lipstick Queen. I think I just also love the brand as a whole. I love like that they're color changing lipsticks and I have just like a really good positive connotation from when I was younger and they first came out with their like first color changing lipsticks. I just thought they were so cool. And so I think I just really like the brand. Just these have a special little place in my heart. So I love these and I'm definitely keeping this one. Then on March 3rd, I wore this Origins. Goodness, what are you? 
I don't know what it is, but they're just like Origins lipstick, and it's in the shade Sweet Iris, which is, I love the packaging on these because they, this is the color, like this right here is the color of the actual lipstick. So genius, and I love this lip color. I reach for it all the time if I want like a really soft berry. So good, definitely keeping this one. And this formula is super comfortable and it smells, smells so good. Like I, it smells like rose and I usually hate the smell of rose, but I really like this one. It really smells like a fresh rose. Very good, love this, definitely keeping. And then on the fourth, I wore um, my Maybelline Lifter Gloss in the shade Amber. This is one of my favorite lip products that I have in my entire collection, like across the board. How I know this is because I obviously wore a different lip color like every day in the morning, but if I was going out with friends or if I had a dinner or something, I oftentimes wouldn't just like put on the same lip color again. And if I was just like dashing out of the house and needed to go, I would put this in my purse like nine out of 10 times. It's just so easy to apply. It looks so good. It matches anything. And it's just the prettiest lip color. And I really, really love it. So definitely keeping this one, one of my all time faves. And I'm really, really glad I got this one. So yes, yes, yes. Then on the fifth, I wore my Mac Patrick Star lipstick. So this is from his first collection with MAC, the spring floral one, and I got the entire collection when it came out. And this is in the shade Sweet Mama Star. And I have gone back and forth about this one so many times because I obviously love the packaging and I think it's super cute. And it's a nude lipstick, which you're like, Jules, do you not wear nude lipsticks? Is not is that not what you've been saying this entire time? No, you're right. I wear a ton of nude lipsticks. It's just, this is more of a pinky nude, which I don't have a lot of, but I also don't have a lot of because I don't wear a lot of, and it's a really good formula and it's super pretty and it lasts a while, but I know it's getting older. It's not like off by any means though. And so I think for right now, I'm gonna keep it. Cause I kept notes like as I was going and in my notes originally, I talked about decluttering it, that it was like too pink. But looking at the photo, it doesn't look too pink to me. And I think I'm just wearing it with a really warm toned look. And I think if I wore it with a cooler toned look, it would look really pretty. So I think for right now, I'm going to keep it. Yeah, I think I'm gonna keep it. I think actually taking the photos through the month convinced me to keep it. So kind of a switch up there. I'm keeping it even though I talked about decluttering it, but I like it and I think I can get good use out of it, especially for cooler toned looks. Then on March 6th, I wore my e.l.f. Mint Melt Lip Plumping Gloss in the shade Mint Chocolate. I love this gloss. It's very similar to other glosses that I have, like you've seen, like you will see, but it's really good. I really like the scent of it. It's super, super opaque and it stays all day long. I think it's a really good lip gloss and I know I can just throw it in. and. I wear a lot of brown lip glosses, so I'm not mad about it and I am gonna be keeping it. I thought about maybe like seeing if there were like more dupes in my collection and decluttering a lot of those dupes because I know that I do have dupes. But the thing is that even the Maybelline Lifter Gloss and that e.l.f. Lip Gloss, they look similar, but I know that I'm gonna use them for different things. And so, and I like them for different reasons. So I'm just gonna keep both of them. I'm someone who, if there's a dupe, as long as I'm using both, I don't really care if I have a dupe, if that makes sense. So there are some dupes that I did get rid of, but for the most part, if they're brown, I'm probably gonna keep them because as much as I love having a lot of brown lips, I know that that's what I wear nine out of 10 days. So, you know, it's kind of just like, if I'm gonna wear them and I'm gonna use them, then I'm gonna keep them because then on March 7th, I wore my Bite lip gloss in the shade 1999. This is one of my favorite lip gloss formulas of all time. And of course they discontinued it because why would they not, right? Um, places love discontinuing things that I love. And I know other people, like I've watched other YouTubers talk about that phenomenon, but I truly do feel like they have it out for me. Um, but this is like the best lip gloss formula. I wish you guys could go out and try it because it's so good. And I love this shade 1999. I think it's the perfect like orangey red, but really subtle. And I love the name of it. I think it's very on brand for it being 1999. Like this is definitely what people wore in 1999. So definitely keeping this one. I love this one a lot. 
Then on March 8th, I wore my Lime Crime plushie in the shade Pumpkin Latte. This is so pretty. It's definitely not a spring lip color for me, but in the fall, this looks so good. It looks good really sheared out. It looks good really opaque. I love how orange it is. I, pro I want to get more of these plushies actually, and I just haven't yet. Because I think having this one is pretty good for me. Because again, I have so many lip products. And they are really expensive actually. But I think they're worth it. I really, really like the formula. And I'm definitely keeping this one. On March 9th, I wore my Bare Minerals Moxie Gloss in the shade Spark Plug. This is another one of those mini Moxie Glosses. And it looks really similar to Maverick. The one that I talked about at the beginning. Um, but they do look kind of different. Maverick is darker. And I know that I can actually just use these up. I'm about three-fourths of the way done with Maverick and I think about two-thirds of the way done with Spark Plug. So I just want to keep these and use them up. That is my main goal with these because I just love this formula and these are also really really easy to travel with because they're so small and cute. So yes, keeping this one. Then I, next up I have this Revlon Matte Balm in the shade Fierce. These used to be like the it lip product, these Revlon balm sticks, and I still love them. I think they're super great, but I especially love this one because it's this like dark ruddy brown, and that's what I, if I'm looking for like a darker lip, that's oftentimes the shade that I'm going for, but I think that this one is just so pretty, especially in the fall and the winter, so I'm definitely keeping this one. It's one of the only like darker lipsticks that I have, and it's really easy because it can be sheared out, and it's buildable, it's still really comfortable, and it stays all day because it will stain. Yeah, I really, really like this one. I'm definitely keeping it. Next up is another one of the Richu Liquid Lips. Um, their stickers like that came on the bottom. They are really easily removed like they just fall off So I don't remember the name of this one. I think this one might be pink lust. I Hate this one. I, I, it's way too light. It is way too pink and When it dried down it cracked so much and it was so noticeable that I needed to put a gloss on it in order to just like exist throughout the day So I'm definitely decluttering this one really really did not enjoy it so I'm going to be really happy to have this out of my collection. Then on the 12th, I wore another of my Julep lip glosses in the shade All the Feels. I like this one. Again, same thing with the other Julep gloss. I really like this one. I think that it looks good, but it's just older and it smells off and so I need to get rid of it. So I will be decluttering this one as well. But I do really like this Julep gloss formula and you get a lot of product in here and I think that it's a really a good gloss. I just know that I have other nude glosses that I'll wear and I'm going to be decluttering this one. Then on March 13th, I wore another one of the balm stains. So this is the Revlon balm stain in the shade Honey. This is an OG. You guys have probably seen this one before. I know this is a lot of people's like ride or die lip color. Um, I like this and I liked it a lot more before. It is too pink for me now. I am not gonna wear something this pink. I love this formula. It'll always have a special place in my heart. This is one of the first lip formulas that I absolutely fell in love with. I had it in a bunch of colors when I was like 14, 15. So I, I love this one. I just know that it is time for it to go. And yeah, it is, it served me well. Okay, or my camera died again. So I'm sorry if the angle is just changed once more. You know how it is. On March 14th, I wore the Soap and Glory lip gloss in, it's called Sexy Mother Pucker, but it's in the shade Spun Sugar. I love this gloss. It is like the perfect light sparkly gloss. It's great for going out. Um, and yeah, it's another really easy one to just throw on and it does tingle and it is plumping. So definitely keeping this one. I love this gloss. I'm having like a shimmery lip gloss resurgence right now. So I'm really, really loving that. Say hi. Say hi to the camera. <laughs> He's so mad because I'm kicking him out. I'm sorry. You're being a problem. Oh okay, on March 15th, I wore this lip from my Nude Sticks mini set. It's in the shade Babe. It's their gel lip and cheek balm. And I really like this one. I really like the set it comes with. It's super convenient. So definitely keeping this one. And then on the 16th, I wore another one of my Lipstick Queen minis in the shade Morning Sunshine. So this one, it looks yellow, but it turns like this bright corally pink color. I also love this one and I'm going to be keeping it. Then on the 17th, I didn't really wear makeup, but I did put on this, okay, 
do not judge me for this, but this is my Bite Agave Lip Mask in the shade Champagne. As you can see, it's almost used up. It's completely worn down. I've had this for such a long time. This one's really old, but I am trying to use this one up right now, which is why it looks like this. And this one, honestly, I wear way more than just this day. The reason why I tracked it for this day is because this is the one that I put on if I'm just like running around, if I'm not wearing any makeup, because it's just a really easy lip color. It's super moisturizing and I really like the look of it. So yeah, definitely keeping this one so I can finish using it up. And then on the 18th, same thing. I wasn't really wearing makeup these two days. So I wore another one of my Bite Agave lip masks in the shade Maple. This is the same thing. It's just a more brown version. So obviously me loving brown lips. I also love this one. This is great to just throw on as well. Um, I really like throwing this one on in the fall or in the late summer because it is obviously kind of got a light brown tint to it. But these stay for a really long time and they make your lips look really juicy while softening them. So definitely keeping this one as well. I love these agave lip masks. Okay, then on the 19th, I wore this ColourPop Fresh Kiss Lip Cream again. This is from the Hocus Pocus collection in the shade Hello Boys. I really wanted to love this. I really wanted a black lip. I just thought it'd be so cool and fun. And I really liked the look that I made with this, but I'll put up a picture of what it looked like two hours after I put it on. I put this on at like 1 p.m. And this is a picture at 3 p.m. I did not eat. I drank some water, that's it. And it's gone. It's literally gone off the lips and it doesn't even look good. It fades really, really poorly. It just looks bad. And so I know I'm not gonna wear this even if I love a good black lipstick. The only thing I could possibly think to, I would use it for is like one photo and then I would wipe it off. And at that point, I can either just get another black lipstick that I'm gonna like more, or I can just use black eyeshadow or anything else, right? I have like black face paints that I could use. So definitely decluttering this one. Then on March 20th, I wore my Bite Lip Gloss in the shade 2007. Again, love this gloss. Same one as the 1999 one. I think that this is perfectly named because everyone was wearing this type of gloss in 2007. It reminds me so much of the Buxom White Russian, which was so popular in 2007. So this is very aptly named and definitely keeping this gloss. I love this one as well. Then on March 21st, I wore my Revlon. I don't even remember what these were called, but. You guys are gonna recognize this packaging. It's in the shade Fig Jam. The bottom is broken, and the main reason I haven't gotten rid of this one, even though I know it's old, is A, I love this formula, and B, look at how close I am to finishing this. Like, when I tell you that I am like three uses away from panning this, I am. And so I'm keeping this literally to finish it up because it's been a long time coming to finish this product. So yeah, I'm definitely keeping this. I wanna finish it. I love these, and I love this color. It's like the perfect, ready brown chef's kiss love it definitely keeping then on march 22nd i wore my another one of my julep lip glosses this is my last julep lip gloss in the shade bestie this one is pretty it's a good berry gloss this one smells the worst out of all of them so i'm definitely getting rid of this one it's just time for all of them to go they're just old and they are well past their expiration date so this one's gonna go even though it's pretty then on March 23rd, I wore my Bite Lip Crayon in the shade Coolie. Coolie? French? It's really pretty. It also doesn't look like a what it should, but I really like wearing this one. And I actually used to have a set of these. There was four of them, and this is the only one I kept out of the set. So I'm definitely keeping this one. I really like this one, and I just love Bite's lip formula. And I want to try more of their more recent releases, so... Yes, keeping this one. On the 24th, I wore another one of my Richu Liquid Lips. This is in the shade French Made. And this is one of my favorites only because it is a brown. It's a light brown. And that is my go-to. That is my favorite lip color. And so I was like, maybe I should keep it because I really like it. But I have stuffed this color a million times over in my collection and I don't really wear liquid lips. So I'm gonna be decluttering this one as well. You know, I get the whole idea of why people like liquid lips. They last a lot longer, especially when wearing masks and things like that. But I'd rather just take my lip product with me and reapply than have a liquid lipstick. So I'm gonna be decluttering this one. On March 25th, I wore my Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink in the shade Groundbreaker. So this 
like a lot of the red ones in my collection. I actually bought in December, I bought really recently. And the reason that I bought it is because I was looking for a drugstore dupe of MAC Chili. And if you saw my most recent video, my haul, you'll see that I bought a miniature MAC Chili. So obviously I got a MAC Chili and I do not need this anymore. Again, like I just said, I don't really wear liquid lips. This is a really, really good liquid lip formula if you're looking for it. It lasts all day long and it is a really good dupe of MAC Chili. I will insert some swatches of the dupes I have for MAC Chili, but it is, um, I don't need it. I have MAC Chili now and I like that formula better, so I'm going to be decluttering this. But if you're looking for a liquid lip version of MAC Chili, I definitely highly recommend Groundbreaker. On March 26th, I wore another one of my Lipstick Queen minis. I think this is my last one, and it's in the shade Frog Prince, which is their original release. This is the one that's green, and it turns into like a berry. I love these. I'm definitely keeping this one as well. Just such a special place in my heart, and I think it's like the prettiest light berry, and it stains. It stays all day, so definitely keeping this. On the 27th, I wore my L'Oreal. I don't even remember what these are called, but these are like, I think the Infallible Liquid Lips. I absolutely love this formula. They're really, really lightweight, but they stay all day long, and they're one of the most comfortable liquid lips ever. I really, really like the formula. This is in the shade I Am Worth It, and what I will say about these is they seem to go bad pretty fast because this one, again, I bought it in like December, I think, and it's already starting to smell a little funky. Not only that, but I also think that I mean, this is just not the right undertone for MAC Chili, which is what I was looking for. And I'm fine if it doesn't, if it's not a perfect dupe of MAC Chili, but this isn't even an undertone I really wear. It's a really, really blue toned red, and that's just not what I'm going for most of the time or ever. It's just not the, really the look that I'm looking for. So I'm gonna be decluttering this one as well. But again, really, really like this formula. And maybe in the future, I will get like a brown version of this or like an orangier version of this. Cause I, I really like it. <laughs> On March 28th, I wore my Urban Decay lipstick in Broken, which is one of their sheer shimmer formulas. Absolutely love it. It's one of my favorite browns of all time. I think it just adds so much dimension and depth I have loved it for a long time. I'm gonna keep loving it. It's just so, so good. It just, to me, looks so badass somehow. I think it's because it's like sheer and it has like a darker shimmer to it, but absolutely love it. And I'm definitely, definitely keeping this lipstick. On March 29th, I wore another one of my Richu liquid lips. I have a ton of these um, in the shade Rosebud. And I, again, don't like this formula. Don't need to reiterate that, but I really don't like this color either. It's just much too cool tone for me. I actually really liked it with the look that I wore. It looks really pretty with this look, but how often am I gonna be wearing this exact look? And I also think that I have other berry toned lipsticks that I would have liked just as much or even better with this. So I'm going to be decluttering this one as well. On March 30th, I wore my ColourPop lippy pencil in the shade Osis, which is a lot darker than it looks from this packaging. And I really, really liked it. So I most likely am not going to be decluttering any of my lip pencils, mostly because I really just started getting into lip pencils this year. And so a lot of these are newer. And also I've just now figured out a technique that I really like that works for me. So yeah, definitely keeping this. I really like this one. And then on March 31st, last day of March, I wore the last of my ColourPop Fresh Kiss lip creams. And this is in the shade Tonight We Fly, which is a berry toned lip color. It looks really good in this picture. It's really sheared out though. And that's the only way that I can really wear it because it just slides around so much and goes outside of the lip line that it just does not look good if you do it fully opaque. But again, definitely getting rid of this one getting rid of all three of them, the entire collection of them. So I do not recommend that formula at all. And that really, really bums me out, but they cannot stay in my collection. Then on April 1st, I wore my Kose lip pencil in the shade Cafe Olay. This is super, super old, like super, super old, but I'm not gonna get rid of it and that's okay because it doesn't smell off and it still works. I know it's really old because Kose does not exist anymore. I stole this from my mom from her makeup collection, which she probably got this in the 90s, like probably like 1995. And I stole it from her when I was like 15. So it's old. It's a really old lip pencil, but it still works. And I really like it. It's one of my favorite lip pencils. It's the only one that I've had for, I mean, the entire time I've really had makeup. So I really like it. 
it set the standard for lip pencils for me and I'm gonna keep it even though I know that it is extremely old. Do not judge me, it hasn't killed me yet and if it was going to, I feel like it already would have. So, you know what, I'm keeping it. Then on April 2nd, I wore my Glow Recipe Lip Pop Watermelon. I love this lip product. I could sing this lip product's praises on the mountaintops. It's so good. It's like this pinky, it's, I think it's advertised as more of like a lip treatment. Like it's supposed to exfoliate. It's like a chemical exfoliating lip product, which I do think it does. It definitely makes your lips a lot softer, but I also just love the color that it gives. It's so easy to just throw on and go. And especially in the spring and the summer, it's just such a, such a pretty, pretty color. I love it so much. I definitely am going to keep this one. It's amazing. 10 out of 10. I love this product and I highly recommend if you're looking for a pinky lip color, go out and get this. It's better than most of the pinks in my collection. Then on April 3rd, I wore my Melt Beetlejuice Collection lipstick in the shade Calypso. This one is so hard for me because I obviously got it with the Melt Beetlejuice Collection and I love Beetlejuice, one of my favorite movies of all time. You can tell I really like Halloween movies. And so I really wanted to keep it because I really, really like it. But it's just not a color that I'm gonna wear. And I'll also show you guys a picture. It just doesn't wear well. It's also really metallic and that's not really what I'm looking for in a lip. And I told myself at the beginning of this that if I wasn't gonna reach it for it, then I wasn't gonna keep it. And I'm not gonna reach for this lip color. I have other berries that I love even more. And the only reason that I was gonna keep it is for the packaging alone, literally just the packaging. And that's cool and fine and dandy. And I do think that it's really cool packaging, but you can see like the lettering is already starting to wear off. And I've only worn this like two or three times since I got it. So there's no reason for me to really keep it other than the fact that the neon packaging is cool. And it, at that point, it's just taking up space in my collection. So I am gonna get rid of this, unfortunately, which makes me so sad because I really, really love this collection. It's just, I know I'm not gonna wear it. <sighs> On the 4th, I wore another one of my Ritchie Liquid Lips in the shade Mondays, and this is probably the one that I would keep. Maybe not. I just, it's a really pretty brown, and it is hard for me, but I just know I'm not gonna wear it, and I think it is almost identical to Snapdragon, and I will put that up so you can see how they compare, but I just don't think I need it, and I am gonna declutter this one as well. On April 5th, I wore my L'Oreal Paris Infallible Paints in the Metallics, and it's in the shade Galactic Foil. So this is like a metallic pink lip color, and I used to love this. I used to wear this all the time. I used to wear it like going out to, I don't even know if I was old enough to go to bars when I would wear this, but whenever I would like go out to like parties and stuff, I would always wear this. I thought it was so cool because it was metallic, but a, it's just really old. It's definitely past its expiration date and smelling kind of funky. And B, this is just not something I'm going to be reaching for anymore. Like, th this is not the look that I'm going for. So definitely decluttering this one as well. It has no place in my collection right now, so. On April 6th, I wore my lip color from my Morphe 2 stack, which I'll try to show you. It's in the shade Coco Rose. It's, again, and brown. It's kind of like a glossy balm. It's super pretty. I really loved it, obviously. It's like my exact shade that I love in lip products. So uh, A, I'm not getting rid of the stack, so I'd be keeping it anyways, but B, I just love it, so I'm definitely keeping it. On April 7th, I wore my NYX This Is Milky Gloss in the shade Moody Peach. I love these milky glosses. They stay so well, and they really are like milky. They make your lips look so juicy, and I love this peachy color. I don't really have anything else like it, so I'm definitely keeping this one. I highly recommend this formula if you're looking for a more opaque gloss. Very, very good. And then on April 8th, which is my birthday, I wore one of my full-size Lipstick Queen lipsticks, and this is in the shade Old Flame. So it is orange and it's orange um <laughs> it's not really like i mean it's technically i think a color changing one but i love this lip color i think it just looks so pretty and i love like those bright punchy orange ready orange colors especially on my complexion i think they look really good on me so i wore it on my birthday i really loved it and yeah i'm definitely keeping it and i love lipstick queen so keeping this one then on April 9th, I wore my last Bite Agave lip mask. So this is in the shade Crushed. And this is, again, really easy to just throw on and go. This is a great, like, ready berry tone, and I love using it. So definitely keeping this one as well. I love my Bite Agave lip mask. So, yes, keeping. Sorry, I don't know why I'm having 
so much trouble with my battery because it just died again, my other one. I'm just like going through it with my batteries right now, so sorry about that. Again, if the angle changed. But we're back and I think we're more than halfway through. I hope we're more than halfway through. I don't even know how long I've been going because I've had to cut because of the batteries dying, but hopefully it's still quick. Fingers crossed. I'm trying to get this video to be less than an hour. That is my goal, less than an hour, so. Ugh. On April 10th, I wore my Becca Plumping Lip Balm in the shade Surge. I love these. They are plumping without being like too harsh. They're just a really pretty balm and I love this color. Again, really punchy, bright color. I wear a lot of those. It's like those in brown, so I am keeping this. And on April 11th, I wore my LOC Extati Vibrant Matte Lipstick in the shade Wildest Dreams. And this is a more cool toned red, but this is the only cool toned red that I have or am ever gonna have unless I replace it with something. Um, so I am gonna be keeping it and I love it because it's just small. And if I do wanna wear a cool toned red, I have it and it doesn't take up a lot of space. So keeping this one. On April 12th, I wore my LA Girl Lip Liner Perfect Precision Lip Liner in the shade Sugar and Spice. This is a really, really good brown lip liner. I know I have other brown lip liners, but I feel like they do all look a little different and this is definitely more rosy brown. And so I really like it and I'm gonna be keeping it because it's a great formula. On April 13th, I wore my Julep Lip Oil in the shade Obsessed. I was literally obsessed with these lip oils at one time. I had all three of them, like there was a pink and orange and a red and I really liked them especially for the summer, but they are really old now. And I have other products that are kind of like lip oils that I like better. These came out back when lip oils were just starting and now there's lip oils everywhere. So this is really the only lip oil at the time that I could find. Um, and so I really loved them. It'll be sad to see it go, but it is definitely past its prime. And yeah, so I'm decluttering this one. On April 14th, I wore my Urban Decay lipstick in the shade Bruise. This is such a pretty berry. Whenever I put it on, I just think about how much I love this lip color and how I should wear it more often. So I'm definitely keeping this one. This is kind of like my go-to berry and what I compare other berries to. So I love, love, love this one and I highly recommend this. I don't even know if they sell this shade, but I love this one and I will be keeping it. On April 15th, I wore my Tower 28 lip gloss in the shade Chill, which is just a clear gloss. And I'm keeping this just because it's good to have a clear gloss. And I like the formula. So keeping this one, I like it. Yeah. On April 16th, I wore my Neutrogena Moisture Smooth Color Stick in the shade Almond Nude. These are also, these were also like super popular back in the day and everyone had them. And I really like this one as well. It's a really good neutral, like you can wear it with cool or warm tone looks. And I really like I, I think it is really moisturizing and it stays for a while. So I'm keeping this one also, I know it's old, but I am keeping it to use it up. So keeping this one. Then on April 17th, I wore my The Balm Meet Matte Hues Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick in the shade Honest. So as much as I don't like liquid lipstick, I really like this formula of liquid lipstick. I think it's really moisturizing and it stays and it does not move around. So. I am gonna be keeping this only because I just love this pink shade and it has a special place in my heart. If it's the only liquid lipstick I keep, I am perfectly fine with that, but I am keeping it. Then on April 18th, I wore my Revlon Kiss Cushion Lip Tint in the shade Fancy Rose. It's kind of like a rosy, darker brown, but it's really pretty in the fall and the winter because it's kind of just got this like dark, grungy undertone to it and it's really really comfortable it's a lip tint so it stays on the lips really well um and it's kind of got one of those like sponge tip ones i think it's really cool and i really like it so definitely keeping this one then on april 19th i wore my origins lipstick in honey blush which is like my perfect nude and again i love this formula i love the smell definitely keeping this one love it love it love it then on April 20th, I wore the other Fenty Gloss Bomb Heat that I have in the shade Hot Cherry, and I love this color. I love it a lot more than I thought I was going to. It's like this perfect, like, ready pink color, and I'm really excited to wear it for summer because I think it's just perfect. And again, these are plumping, and I really like the formula of them. So, yes, definitely keeping this. Then for the 21st to the 24th of April, I had COVID, so I did not wear any lip products. So I don't have any for those. But then on the 25th, once I was feeling better and I was symptom-free, I wore one of my favorite lip products, which is the Peri Para Ink Velvet in the shade number 
nine or number six, one of those. Um, but this is a really, really pretty like orangey red and it's my favorite red lipstick. I think it's just like fits my complexion very well, looks really good on me, looks really natural and it's really, really comfortable, really, really soft. So, and I love wearing it. So I am going to be keeping this one. On April 26th, I wore my ColourPop lippy stick. This is the last one that I have in the shade Gold Digger. And so I actually thought that I was going to be getting rid of all of my ColourPop lippy sticks. And so I just kind of wrote this one off and was like, oh yeah, I'll just wait and I'll put that one on. Because I wore the rest of them kind of early on. Because um, I thought I was going to like this one the least. But I actually ended up liking this one the most. And it really, really surprised me because I love this color and I love the look that I have. It's much more berry toned than I thought it was. And I just don't think I have anything else like this in my collection, so I'm actually going to keep this. I know, shocking, because I wanted to get rid of all of my ColourPop Libby sticks, but I really, really loved this one, and I wanted to reach for it and wear it again, and I think that that's a good sign, and there's no reason to get rid of all of them if I really, really love this one. So I'm going to actually be keeping this as, you know, it's like the Alamo. Just, you hold on. I'm holding on strong in this one spot with my ColourPop Libby sticks, and... It's not bad yet, it doesn't smell off at all, so yeah, I'm excited to keep this one. And then on the 27th, I don't know what happened, I just did not wear any lip products at all, so don't have one for that day. But on the 28th, I wore my NYX Shout Loud Satin Lipstick in the shade Hot in here, and this is another one I got as a dupe for MAC Chili. This is the closest dupe. This is almost an exact dupe, and I'm really glad that I found it. Um, I did end up still getting MAC Chili anyway, but even if I hadn't, this is basically the same lipstick. I do like the MAC formula a little bit better. It is just smoother. This is a much thicker formula, but this stays all day and it is really pretty. And so I definitely recommend this if you're looking for a dupe of MAC Chili. And again, I'll throw those swatches back up again of the MAC Chili and the two dupes that I found for it. So yeah, I highly recommend this one and I really do like wearing it. I just would prefer to have MAC Chili instead. So I'm going to be decluttering this one as well because I don't need the dupe of it. On April 29th, I wore my Tower 28 gloss in the shade Chestnut. Again, really like this gloss formula. It's a brown gloss. You should know by now. I'm going to be keeping this one. Thoroughly enjoy it. And I love, again, just throwing this one in my purse and going. So, yes. On April 30th, I wore my Tarte Lip Oil Lip Gloss in the shade Fresh Pressed. This is a great, just like, basically neutral lip oil gloss. It's really comfortable. It feels like a lip oil. It's really moisturizing, but it makes your lips look really pretty and look like a gloss and it's like it's just the perfect your lips but better and i really like this one so i highly recommend getting this it also lasts for a really long time and this is actually the second one that i have of this so definitely keeping this i don't know if i'm gonna get a third but i definitely love this formula so keeping this one on May 1st, I wore my other Burt's Bees Tinted Lip Balm in the shade Forest Flower. This is another one that I just love so much. I do not have anything else like this. It's this perfect kind of like, I don't even know how to explain it. It's almost like a gray brown. It looks so pretty with cooler toned looks and I love wearing it in the fall. And this is another one that I'm just gonna have to look for a dupe of because I cannot give it up and they do not sell this anymore. So I'm gonna be looking for a dupe for this one and the hibiscus one because I know that they're just old and I do need to get rid of them because they do smell a little bit off, not super off, but enough where I know in good conscience I shouldn't be wearing them. So this is also gonna go in purgatory till I find a replacement. On May 2nd, I wore the other one of the Becca Hydro Light Plumping Lip Balm that I have, and this is in the shade Lagoon, which is a really pretty red, and I actually got this one first. I really like this one. It's a really light, pinky, like, poppy red, and it's really, really pretty in the spring and the summer, so I love this, and I'm keeping this one as well. On May 3rd, I wore my Makeup Academy Intense Color Lip Liner in the shade Heartbreaker, and I liked this a lot more than I thought I was going to. I think it's good with the red lips that I have to have a red lip liner, so I will be keeping this one just because you gotta have a red lip liner. Red is such like a, it's a color that is in need of a lip liner, so I'm definitely keeping this one. On May 4th, I wore my e.l.f. Sheer Slick in the shade Grapefruit. Um, I think this is fine. Not my favorite formula that e.l.f.s ever come out with, but 
my main thing is that I basically figured out throughout the day that my Glow Recipe Lip Pop, the watermelon one, is basically an exact dupe of this and that I like the watermelon lip pop better. So I'm going to actually be decluttering this even though I got it because I wanted a bright pink. I didn't realize that I already had a bright pink with my watermelon lip pop. So I'm going to be decluttering this one and if I want a very bright pop of pink, they look identical. So I'll just reach for that one and I know I'll reach for that one. On May 5th, I wore the last of my lip liners, which is my Lime Crime Velveteens lip liner in the shade Platform. This is super pretty, like very grungy lip liner, and I really, really like it, especially for the fall, so I will be keeping this one as well. On May 6th, I wore my other Revlon lip butter in the shade Berry Smoothie, which I love this one as well. This is one of my favorite pinks. Um, when I had pink hair, this matched perfectly and I wore it all the time. So I will be keeping this one even though I know it's old. It's not bad yet and I do really love it. It's like the go-to pink if I want just like a mid-toned iconic pink lip. On May 7th, I wore I think my only remaining Bare Minerals Moxie Gloss and this is actually a full-size one. It's in the shade Trailblazer. This is a pretty gloss. Um, it's not a shade that I reach for anymore, and it kind of looks weird. It does some weird thing on the like on your lips. I'll put up a picture of it. It just kind of bunches up really weirdly, the pigment of it, and I don't think it used to do that. So I think it's doing that because it's getting older. So I'm actually going to declutter this one as well because I have other glosses that I'm going to wear more that I really love. So going to get rid of this one as well. I cannot believe I'm actually getting rid of a Bare Minerals Moxie Gloss, but you saw it here, folks. I'm getting rid of one. On May 8th, I wore my Physician's Formula Miro Miro Butter in the shade Soaking Up the Sun. This is my favorite summer lip product. It's just the perfect kind of like brown. It looks like Soaking Up the Sun. Like it looks very summery and I love wearing it in the summer. It's just, it stays like glossy and shiny all day but without being like too glossy it just looks like healthy and pretty and glowy and so I really love this one and I'm gonna be keeping it. Getting close to the end here folks so on May 9th I wore my Etude House Acorn Day Jelly Mousse Tint. Look at how cute this is! It's a little Dale from Chip and Dale and he is adorable and so I got this for the packaging but I also love the color it's like perfect like a perfect me color it's like a orangey red and I love this one so I'm definitely gonna be keeping this it just makes me happy looking at it and I love it so much I love Chippendale and always have so yes keeping this on May 10th I wore the lip gloss from the Patrick Star and Mac collection and this is in the shade Mama Star Kiss I love this lip gloss. It is the perfect like elevated nude gloss where it is nude but it's got reflex that are like purple and blue and pink and it just looks really pretty in photos and it just adds something a little like special, a little extra to any look. So definitely keeping this one. I really, really love this one. On May 11th, I wore my Dr. Pawpaw tinted lip balm um, in the red shade. I don't know if it's actually called that but it's red and I'm keeping this mainly because it is a really simple easy red if I want something that I can just put on and go. I only need a little bit of it. It's really easy to keep in my purse and touch up on throughout the day and it's really really hydrating and comfortable so I love this and I will be keeping it. Yesterday on May 12th I wore the new NYX This Is Juice Gloss in the shade Guava Snap. If you saw my haul video I had just gotten this. It's super pretty and I really love it and I got it to kind of replace some of the brighter lip colors that I was getting rid of and mostly my one orange julep gloss. So really really loving this one and I'm definitely keeping it. Okay hopefully that's the last time I have to change my battery. <laughs> Today on May 13th, the last day, my last lip product is my brand new Stila lip gloss in the shade Kitten. I think it's really pretty and I love how it looks and I definitely am using this one to replace some of my lip glosses that I got rid of. So love this one, definitely keeping this. So besides those, I actually have two more lip products to talk about. So one of them is this one. This is the L'Oreal Infallible liquid lip. It's the same one as the red one that I showed earlier. It's in the shade I Radiate. This used to be one of my favorites, but I actually couldn't even wear it for this because it just smells so bad and off. I was like not going to put this anywhere near my mouth. So this is going to be decluttered. Like I said, I think they go bad pretty quickly. So this one unfortunately has to go even though I used to love it. And then the last product I'm going to talk about is my MAC Chili, which 
I am obviously keeping because it is replacing two of the dupes that I, three of the dupes that I bought for it. So yeah, I'm keeping this one and I'm really excited about this one because I have obviously been pining after it for a while and finally got it even after I got dupes for it because I know that it's just worth it. It's just a little bit more orange than it and I know I'm going to wear it a lot because this is a color that I think is so gorgeous. So keeping this one as well. Okay, so that is all of my lip products. I can't believe I just got through all of those. So I counted up everything that I got rid of and I'm actually getting rid of 24, which is 10 more than my original goal, which means I am at 60 lip products total. I think that that is an amazing improvement in how many I have. And I think my overall goal is to eventually get to 50, but I'm at a great place right now. I love all of the products that I have and I'm really excited to wear all the products I have now that I can wear all of them again. Um, I can't wait to see what I reach for tomorrow when it's kind of just a free for all. I think I'm gonna be like, ah, what do I pick? But yeah, I have the two from Burt's Bees that I'm gonna be looking for dupes for. Other than that, all of them I really love and they are still really good and very wearable. So yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I am running super late. So very quick wrap up here, but I really hope you enjoyed this. I love doing this project. I did it last year without filming and it's really fun to just kind of make this video. I hope you also enjoyed seeing my makeup looks from the past three months. Now you can kind of see how I wear my makeup most days. But with that, let me know if you guys want to see anything else, any other makeup collection videos and or any declutters because I definitely have more aspects of my collection that I can declutter. But with that, I really, really hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, hit that like button and subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. I love doing this and I want to thank you guys so much for being here. It truly makes me so happy to have your comments and likes. So thank you, thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart. And with that, I hope you have a great rest of your day and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.